Okay guys, we are here. This is Arika Misha and it is Saturday morning and I am cooking uh, one of the girls favorite cookies, homemade chocolate chip cookies. So you guys see this spread I have on my table. I've got everything on here uh, to make a simple chocolate chip cookie and my chocolate chip cookies come out really good. So nothing like a homemade cookie. So all right, I've got everything on the table. Just wanted to let you guys see the setup. I've got everything. I've got my salt, my vanilla, my baking soda, my butter, my eggs, my Hershey's chocolate chip. I use whatever chocolate chip. It don't matter. But um, Hershey's is on sale, so I've got Hershey's chocolate chip. I've got my light brown sugar over there. I've got my flour, regular sugar. And yeah, that's pretty much all the ingredients. Easy, guys. Uh, let me see. I will put in the, um, I just have my uh, little recipe that I use. I have it written down here. So, just a little chicken scratch. I've been using this recipe uh, for a long time now. Just something I tweet. And, you know, as you make cookies and you bake, you realize what works and what doesn't work. You put more of this, less of that. So, just a little quick recipe I came up with for chocolate chip, homemade chocolate chip cookies. I will put the recipe in the description box, guys, of course. So, I'll make sure I type all that out and put that in the description box for you in case I know a lot of people have already been messaging me uh, about my chocolate chip cookies. So, that's another reason why I'm doing this video. So, alright guys, let's get into baking some homemade chocolate chip cookies. Y'all know me, I'm going to make it quick and easy for you. I'll be back. Okay guys, and let's get started on our chocolate chip cookies. So I've got my two sticks of butter, well two sticks of soft butter. I make sure my butter is out at room temperature before I start, you know, getting situated to cook the cookies. So I've got two sticks of butter, I've got a half a cup of regular sugar, one cup of light brown sugar, and I'm going to cream those together. So you guys see, I've got my butter and white sugar, brown sugar. And I'm just going to cream these together. Now I could use the blender. You know, most people use the blender. But I like using my fork. I like, you know, being old school and mixing stuff myself. Because I like to make sure everything gets mixed in all good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing these guys all together. Getting this all creamed together. Um, I'm also, after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and add two eggs to this. One at a time, of course. So. All right, let me go ahead and get the two eggs in. I want to get this cream together a little bit more. I don't want to make it a long video, but I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the details and instructions of how to cook this. Quick chocolate chip cookies. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Delicious chocolate chip cookies. My two sticks of butter, my one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and I am creaming them together. Creaming that all together. Creaming it all together, and then I'm going to add my two eggs one at a time. This is what we call the wet mix. So... Make sure you get everything creamed together. Go ahead and make a little hole in the center there. Make sure you guys can see. Bring y'all up here. Okay. Go ahead and add my two eggs. And they have also been sitting out, getting room temperature. My two eggs have been sitting out with my butter. All right. Mix that all up. Do one at a time. I just sometimes I'll do one at a time. Sometimes I'll just throw them both in there. Get that all mixed up. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 guys. Whew, this is some good arm exercise. This is my workout for the day. Whew. Mix, 
All right, guys, so we got two sticks of butter, our one cup of light brown sugar, half a cup of regular sugar, and creamed that together. And we just added our two eggs. We've creamed that all together. And I will be back to do the second bowl, which is the dry ingredients. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, and before I move on to the dry ingredients, I forgot to tell you guys in the wet mix to make sure you also add two tablespoons of, um, two, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, two teaspoons of vanilla. Forgot to tell you guys about that in our wet mix. Okay, over to the dry mix. We've got three cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking soda, and half a tablespoon. I'm sorry, guys, I'm reading it here. Um, three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Get it right, girl. Get it right. I'm so used to just doing it, you know. Kind of different when you have to give instructions on how to do it. All right, let's go. Three cups of flour. Making sure you guys can see. Yep, three cups of flour. Got one cup. Two cups. Flour is so messy. Three cups of flour. All right, so we got the three cups of flour. Okay, three cups of flour. Let's see what we got. Okay, three cups of flour. Two teaspoons of baking soda. All right. One. Uh -oh. Two. All right. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. We've got a half teaspoon here. Let's see. Half a teaspoon of salt. All right, and let's see what we gotta do next. All right, and okay, all right, let's get this mixed up. We're gonna mix up the dry mix. Three cups of flour. Three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix this dry mix together, child. Right? Uh, dry mix all mixed up and blended. Blend, 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 blend. Ugh, flour can be so messy. And y'all know I hate messes. But, all right. Make sure we get the bottom all mixed up. Make sure you get those sides all blended out and mixed up too. Mix everything up. Make sure everything's getting mixed, mixed, mixed. Mix, mix, mixed, guys. Bacon can be a little messy. All right, got that all mixed up. All right, let's add the wet mix. We're gonna add the wet mix. I usually do half at a time. Half of my wet mix. Okay. All right, so now we adding in the wet mix to our dry mix. Mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix. All mixed up. Add the rest of my wet mix here. Right. 
Just a simple recipe I came up with to make it quick and easier, you know? All right, let's get this wet mix mixed up here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this mixed up and then I'll be back so we can add our chocolate chips. Okay guys, I am back and it's time to do my favorite part, add the chocolate chips. Now, my recipe calls for one. Two. And you usually have a little bit left over, so it's like two and a half cups. So, two and a half cups of chocolate chips because we like a lot of chocolate chips. All right. So that's two and a half cups of chocolate chips. Now most recipes just call for two. But, you know, I usually have a little bit, you usually have a little bit of chocolate chips left. So, I just usually add those. Two and a half cups of chocolate chips. And you're just gonna fold your chocolate chips in. Fold. You're not stirring them in. Just doing like this. Folding them in. Folding them in. It's like you're slowly adding them to the mix. See, just folding them in like that. That's what they mean when they say fold, y'all. I ain't know what that meant in the beginning. Fold, what? But like I say, knowledge is power, guys. You gotta learn, you gotta learn. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish folding these chocolate chips in, and we'll go ahead and get them trayed up. I'm gonna get them trayed up and put them in the oven, y'all know. Just gonna tray them up on my cooking pan, cooking sheets, and get them in the oven. Let me give you guys those instructions that I do. 350 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes in the center of the oven. That's what I do. I do two trays at a time, 350, 13 to 15 minutes, depending on your stove. So, all right, let me go ahead and get them trayed up and in the oven. And when I come back, y'all will see how they look. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I just pulled the cookies fresh out of the oven, and these are our chocolate chip cookies, our homemade chocolate chip cookies. I'm trying to get into some better light, guys. Sorry about that. There they are. There's our homemade chocolate chip cookies. They look delicious. They're good and soft, and they're full of chocolate chip, guys. Full of chocolate chips. Quick and easy. Let me zoom in for y'all. It's a little hot over there, so I gotta be careful and get burnt. But you guys saw it. Y'all see me do it. Y'all know I did it. All right, guys. I will put the recipe, my recipe, in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, especially Instagram, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Bye.